Hey everyone! And in this video, I would like to show you a different side of my story. So you know me as a CPA, as a self-employed, independent CPA who works 5-6 months out of the year. The rest of the year, I do what is meaningful for me. So I run my NGO, I spend lots of time with my family, and I do some other things. Oh, I have a YouTube channel. Forgot about it. <laughs> so in this video, I'll show you the part of my life related to my NGO. So I'll tell you what this NGO is about. I'll show you a short documentary, what I'm actually doing at this moment right now. I'm spending my summer, like a couple months in Ukraine, and I'm running my NGO. This is very meaningful for me, but the idea of this story is to tell you, so if you choose this profession, if you become tax preparer, CPA or not CPA, you'll have lots of free times that you can do anything you want to do. So you'll have your stable job, your really good business, and then you'll have time to do meaningful projects. So for me, it's establishing NGO. Also related to NGO, as a CPA, you'll have clients. And they believe more than anybody, they would believe their own CPAs, their tax preparers, their financial advisors, right? So if you ever ask you, what is a tax saving strategy, which type of NGO should I donate to? And you can always say, oh, hey, I'm running NGO as well. So please consider this one. So it's the easiest way for be actually in profession in accounting as a tax preparer is to establish initiatives like NGO. So like, let me walk you through a day of the life as a founder, also in addition to be not so boring CPA, self-employed, CPA doing all kinds of things. I also run NGO. So let me walk you through the day in my life. And yeah, I hope that will inspire you to pursue CPA profession to become tax preparer. In the comments, let me know what do you think. So here is um, the city where I was born. It's Lviv, Ukraine. It's really beautiful. And that's where NGO is taking place. Now I'm going to show you the volunteer meeting that is taking place in coffee shop in Ukraine and the motivation why volunteers travel from all over the world to volunteer in Ukraine in my organization. So we'll start with Daniel from Brazil and then following by two guys from United States.